grave mistake. The kind that cannot be fixed. It all began with a war between two mighty deities. A conflict with dire consequences. The fighting rent the very fabric of our world. As the crack deepened, it has spread like the grasping roots of a tree. And through that fissure, something terrible escaped. Something unnatural. The destruction affected countless realms, many beyond our knowledge. But then, when all seemed lost, the deity created a holy sign, a way to seal the crack and stop the blight. And for many years there was peace. But even an instrument of order can be dangerous if it falls into the wrong hands. I was tasked with giving the sign to the just ruler. But I chose the wrong king. And eventually, the repercussions of my failure came to bear. The seal broke. The blight spread throughout Persia. For my failure, I was cast out of the realm of the gods. Imprisoned within a realm of shattered memories and forgotten souls, redemption eluded my grasp. I was weak, consumed by pity, and resigned to my deserved fate. But then, something unexpected happened. A human found me. He too was broken and took pity on a fellow tormented soul. And deep within those strange eyes, I glimpsed something I had lost. Hope. Slowly, like the morning sun clambering over the horizon, consciousness came. He opened his eyes. How pleasant, he thought, to wake to nature's song. But something was not right. The song was out of tune. As he navigated the narrow paths, he breathed in the fresh mountain air. It focused his mind. Questions bobbed to the surface, like apples in water. How did I come to be here? He asked himself. No. That's not the right question, nor is where I'm going 
A single terrible realization crystallized in his fogged mind. I don't know who I am. Many stories have been told about poor souls who have forgotten the paths they have trodden. But there is more to this tale. That I promise. The soft glow of the man's lantern fell on an exotic bird, a hoopoe. The recognition heartened him. Perhaps the bird would lead to further revelations. He followed the hoopoe on instinct. Its beautiful trail fanned the flame of hope. He spotted something glinting among the rocks. Something that called to him. All he did was pull that hatchet out of the stone. A simple act with a remarkable outcome. The Revelations Realm. There was no way back. Whatever this mysterious place was, he had to push on. The weight of the hatchets in his hands brought some comfort as he journeyed deeper. Help me! Who's there? The man called, his voice muffled by the thick, static air. that only the truly alone know. But he was mistaken. There was another in this ethereal place. The tree was alive, but bound tight by otherworldly rocks and glowing tentacles. The blades of the man's hatchets were sharp. creature were friend or foe, but he felt its pain and fear. It mirrored his own. Was freeing the creature wise? The man did not know, but empathy overrode his rational misgivings. cried. Where have you taken me? Calm yourself, human. Did you not want to leave that alien realm? The tree leaned closer and introduced himself as all seeds. A pomegranate tree. I... I don't know who I am, the man said. All seeds pondered. Others like me have been afflicted by a sickness. Help them, and I will return the favor. 
All seeds told the man to look for talisman stones, strange rocks protruding from the ground. Destroying the talisman stones would free his kind. Then the mighty tree extended a great branch outwards, pointing east. Unearth the Kanat Gate to find the path forward, to find yourself. The man could roll under low objects with ease. As he ran, the man mulled all seed's words. How will rescuing the tree's kin help me recover my memory? It appeared to be a diary entry engraved into the stone. But to whom it belonged was a mystery. As he trod the winding path, the man thought about everything that had befallen him. He worried about the nature of the sickness that all seeds had spoken of. How extensive was it? And how would it manifest itself? Little did he know that the answer to the latter question would begin to reveal itself in a few steps further. This must be one of All Seed's trees, the man thought, breathing hard after his encounter. The tree had unfurled its vibrant leaves, embracing all but forgotten sunshine. What were those nasty little creatures, the man thought? Are they tainted by this sickness or harbingers of it? second of all seeds kin was released night cast its veil over the land the inevitability of dusk the serene quiet brought the man a sense of peace whoever engraved this may know more about those creatures he thought.
Hall Seeds was right. There is a sickness afflicting nature. The talisman stones must be at the heart of it. But where did they come from? Were those swarming creatures defending them? So many questions, so few answers. And still, he didn't know who he was. My name is Farhad. But who was that pained woman? And why did she ask what she did? Stones? Farhad wondered. Farhad found himself in the celestial revelations realm once more. Desperate whisper echoed through the strange starscape, calling, beckoning. Farhad! Farhad! Farhad could hear years of agony in those few words. Help me, Farhad! Show yourself! Farhad called into the twinkling black. Where are you? But if he was heard, the whisper didn't say. mysterious woman in his hazy memory. She who pleaded with him to come to her. The other, no doubt, was for Hod himself. Was she the key to his past and his future? As the statue brought down its hatchet, the white liquid flowed. Farhad 
could only hope that soon his thirst for answers would be quenched. bell shocked Farhad, but the guttural roar of some unseen creature terrified him far more. Something sinister was watching, waiting. But Farhad seemed to have one ally. Although all Seed's motivations were shrouded in mystery, he had come once again. What do you know of that place? Farhad asked all seeds. A shiver passed through the tree's branches. It is the realm of lost memories and forgotten souls. When I bit the pomegranate, Farhad said, I had a vision. I was engraving, sculpting. Is that what I do? Am I? A sculptor? All seeds pondered. I cannot say, but memories can be hewn from stone. Consider that. More of my kind are trapped. If you can help them, perhaps I can provide answers. Farhad turned to leave, but all seeds held out a gnarled palm. Be warned, though, human. The great tree said, A fearsome monster, a deev, lurks in the Revelations realm. Pistoon is its name, after the mountain on which you now stand. Keep away from it if you wish to live long enough to uncover the truth. admired the engraving. 